To start off this video, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I use a spoolie just to lay my eyebrows down. And then I clean up the outline of my eyebrows with this razor, eyebrow razor that I bought from my local beauty supply store. Once I do that, I'm going to go back through with uh, my spoolie to clean it up again. And now I'm going to tweeze these hairs away. Tweezing hurts. This does not feel good. But I can get my eyebrows exactly how I want them. Now, if I mess my brows up, that's just on me. But I really dislike paying someone that's supposed to be a professional and they mess my brows up. I use that razor to clean up my unibrow. Next, I'm moving on to my upper lip mustache area and I just wipe away that hair. I used to wax this area, but the wax tends to irritate my skin, so I stop. And since this hair isn't that thick and unruly, I do this, let's say, maybe about once a month. Next, I'm going to use this St. Ives Apricot Scrub to exfoliate that skin underneath my eyebrows to ensure that skin isn't so flaky and dry looking. And that ensures my eyebrows look like I just had them done professionally. I am about to dab in my lips with a washcloth and I'm going to use some sugar that I found at my house and this is going to exfoliate all of that dead skin off your lips. Think about it you guys, you eat, you apply makeup, um, you kiss with your lips. So I do this maybe about once a month to get that dead layer of skin off and your lips will thank you because you're going to tell the difference instantly. I also have my husband do this and it's just amazing for your skin. Now I'm about to hop into this relaxing, soothing bubble bath. I lit some tea lights and I added some essential oils and some rose petals and baby, this was like the best bubble bath ever. And if you want to make it more romantic, just get your boo baby and um, get them sitting here with you and let the romance go from there. This was so soothing and relaxing, so I am definitely taking more soothing bubble baths. Let me know if you have ever done this type of bubble bath in the comment section down below. So I added this beautiful chocolate shade to my nails and I was inspired by this picture right here. So my nail art is going to look like that picture. I actually did my toe nails exactly like that picture but I wanted to switch it up on my nails. I used the brand Beatles that you can buy off of Amazon. I will link that in the description box below. And so let me stop talking so y'all can see how I work on my nails.
what do you guys think of the finished product I am in love here are my toes oh, just beautiful if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more beauty content